So 26 days later, after Sal grafted this bud graft here, and let's see, it would be 20 days after I grafted the scion that was sent in the mail. We're here to check up on those grafts. And for the Sal one, I'm noticing that even though he carved out the buds, the, they're starting to reemerge. This is the, the area that Sal grafted onto and the, his bud graft is right here and he carved out the buds that were uh, associated with these leaves but you know they're starting to come back they're not very big yet so i don't need to carve them out again yet but i'm keeping an eye on those but right now since it is 26 days later it seems like it's definitely time to take the budding tape off. I'm going to try to untie this so I can just secure it further down. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm making some headway. Oh yeah, it's easier if you and you can tie a loop, but sometimes you don't have enough of the budding tape to tie a loop. As I say, I'm making progress. I'm gonna resort to mechanical means here. Seems like this should untie now. <laughs> okay, that was easy. <laughs> so just untied this top part. I'll unwrap it. This is the paraffin tape underneath. Okay, so I'm leaving the paraffin tape on and I'm just going to tie a loop in this grafting tape, this budding tape, and so that it's there for support. But now I've exposed the, the bud. The bud's nice and swollen, and it should leaf out from this point. Uh, of course, I'll keep an eye and make sure that no uh, new buds form in other places. Uh, but uh, basically, that's well on its way. It's looking very green. So here's a checkup on the scion that Rick and Lisa sent us. They couldn't make the grafting workshop and they sent me a scion of guava mango. Three weeks ago today, I grafted it here and it is starting to leaf out. Just the first little leaves. I'm gonna leave everything just like it is now. Check and make sure there's new, uh, no buds sprouting out where they shouldn't be and that seems to be the case but this needs to grow a lot more before I cut back the base shoot. Uh, these leaves have to become full-sized and hardened off like you know mature leaves and so we'll just keep checking back on this but you know this one even though it was put on a week later than Sal's it's it, it's showing growth and Sal's is not and that's just due to the different type of graft that this is. Uh, this particular style of grafting produces leaves usually a lot sooner than a bud graft but the bud graft has its advantages also. 
So Sal's graft and the graft uh, from the Scion that Rick and Lisa sent are both doing well. It looks like they're on different timetables, but it's just the different style of graft. Both are doing well and they are on their way to becoming productive and interesting parts of this tree.